Fundamentals of Chinese 3, Unit 4, Dining, Dining Out, Grammar It. Turn to pages 37 to 44 in your textbook. Have a pen or pencil ready to take notes. Okay. Okay, so here is a structure that you saw in the dialogue when I believe it was Leo that said, Hao Xiang. You go weights a domain, right? So e, and then some part of speech or some word, ye or do, uh, bu or me. Okay. So these structures are used. So these structures are used to emphatically negate something, meaning not at all or not even one. Okay. So you have a subject, and then e. And then a measure word, an object, and then either ye or do, and bu or me, and then a verb. All right, so this just looks a mess here. So let's just look right at these examples. So the first example we have here is li yo, uh, I'm sorry, xiao li yi ge peng yo ye mei yo. Xiao li yi ge peng yo ye mei yo. Okay, little Lee does not have a single friend. Okay, Xiao Li, yi ge peng yo, ye mei yo. Alright, here's another example. Baba jin tian, yi bei cha dou mei he. Baba jin tian, yi bei cha dou mei he. Okay, my father didn't have a single cup of tea today. Okay. So you've seen three examples now, including the one in the dialogue. Here's some other examples. So here we have, 这些衬衫我一件也不喜欢. I don't like any of these shirts. I don't like any of these shirts. 这些衬衫我一件也不喜欢. Okay. So now we have a verb instead of mayo. This one here. 哥哥的鞋弟弟一双都不能穿. 哥哥的鞋弟弟一双都不能穿. Okay. The younger brother cannot wear any of his older brother's shoes. 哥哥的鞋, right, older brother's shoes. 弟弟一双都不能穿 right. This is where Chinese grammar gets a little funky. Um, so you introduce the topic, which is, um, like it says here, topic or subject, topic. Um, so you introduce that first. 哥哥的鞋 okay. Oh, so we're talking about um, older brother's shoes. But what about? Older brother's shoes. Well, Didi Yi Shuang Do Bunang Chuan. Okay. What about brother's shoes over here? Well, little brother uh, can't even wear one pair, can't wear any of them. All right, here's another example expressed by having a subject and then Yi Di R and then an object and then either Yi or Do or Bu or Mei. And then a verb. Okay, so let's see what one of those looks like. Ta chula shang dian ke shi yi diar dong xi yan mei mai. Ta chula shang dian ke shi yi diar dong xi yan mei mai. Okay, so she went to the to the shop or store, but even a little stuff she didn't buy. Okay, now you, you remember ye, ye means also, but here you're not really translating it as also. He went to the store, but he didn't buy anything at all. Ta chula shang dian, ke shi yi diar dong xi ye mei mai. Okay. He didn't even buy 
you know, a few things. Okay. Mama, 做菜一点味精都不放. Mama, 做菜一点味精都不放. Okay. Mom doesn't use any MSG in her cooking. Mom doesn't use anything in her cooking. Right. Keep in mind that um, after the E, if the noun after it is countable, then you should have a proper measure word there. Okay. For example, let's look at these following sentences here as examples of incorrectness. All right. Remember, these uh, sentences here are incorrect. So we have Xiao Li Mei Yo Yiga Peng Yo. Okay, I can't say that. Uh Chen Shan Wo Bu Shi Huan Yi Jian. Ta Dong Shi Mei Mai Yi Diar. Okay, these are incorrect sentences. Okay, you can also use this with adjectives. So we have uh Jar the Dong Tian Idiar Ye Bulang. Okay, the winter here is not cold at all. Jar the Dong Tian Idiar Ye Bulang. Here's another example. Naga Shu Xiao Idiar Ye Bu Pialyang. That school is not pretty at all. Naga Shu Xiao Idiar Ye Bu Pialyang. Here we have Zhe Bei Bing Cha Idiar Do. Hey, this glass of iced tea doesn't taste good at all. Okay, you saw, uh, saw uh, shao uh, being used as, for example, don't use so much salt. Shao fang yan. You could also say use extra salt or use you know extra ice. Duo fang bing hua, right? Duo fang yan. Okay, so this is kind of uh, odd. Because um, you know when you translate these into English, more or less, um, you know the, the the way they use it is sometimes hard to translate. Let's take a look at the English first here. It says, "Dad asked Mom to add less salt and more sugar when she cooks." Okay, so the way that comes out is, "Baba, gao su, mama, zuo cai de shi hou, shao fang yan, duo fang." Diar Tang Baba Gausu Mama Zuo Tai De Shiho Shao Fang Yan Do Fang Diar Tang In this example here Shang Jong Wen Ke De Do Shu Jong Wen Shao Shu Ying Wen Shang Jong Wen Ke De Do Shu Jong Wen Shao Shuo Yingwen. Okay, in Chinese class, one should speak more Chinese and less English. Okay, and in this example here, it can sometimes denote a deviation from the correct amount or number. So let's look at these examples. Ni duo zhao le wo yi kuai qian. Ni duo zhao le wo. You gave me one dollar too much or one dollar too many. Down here, 老师说要写五十个字。我写了四十五个。少写了五个。老师说要写。五十个字，我写了四十五个，少写了五个。Okay, okay. the teacher told us to write fifty characters. I wrote forty-five. I was five short. Okay, so in this lesson, you learned uh, "gang," and previously, you've learned. 
刚才。Okay, and "gung" is、uh, denoting that the action or change took place in the most recent past. So, in this example here, we have "wo ge ge gung chong zhong guo lai," 一个朋友都没有。"wo ge ge gung chong zhong guo lai," 一个朋友都没有。Right? My brother just came from China. He doesn't have any friends here, or he doesn't have a single friend here. 我哥哥刚从中国来，一个朋友都没有。Here， 我刚洗洗完澡，舒服极了。呃、uh, 呃、uh, ，Let me repeat that。我刚洗完澡，舒服极了。我刚洗完澡，舒服极了。哎 ，I just showered. I feel so great. 我刚洗完澡。舒服极了。Okay, now 刚才 is a noun that refers to the time shortly before the act of speaking. All right, so let's take a look at what that looks like. Here's a conversation between A and B. Ah,、uh, 你知道王鹏在哪儿吗？你知道王鹏在哪儿吗？他刚才在这儿。我不知道他去哪儿了。他刚才在这儿。我不知道他在哪儿了。Okay, he was here a moment ago. I don't know where he went. 他刚才在这儿。我不知道他去哪儿了。Alright, here we have here. Ah,、uh, 弟弟刚才吃了十五个饺子，喝了两。喝了两碗酸辣汤。弟弟刚才吃了十五个饺子，喝了两碗酸辣汤。哎 ，My younger brother finished fifteen dumplings in two bowls of hot and sour soup a moment ago. A moment ago， 刚才。Okay, so they're making the point here that although "gang" and "gang tai" are similar in meaning, they are classified as different parts of speech and are therefore used differently. Okay, a "gang" can be followed by an expression that indicates the duration of time. Okay, so here's an example: "Ta gang zou le liang tian." Ta gang zou le liang tian. So he left only two days ago. Okay, he left only two days ago. You can't say "ta gang tai zou le liang tian." Okay, this doesn't make sense. Okay, "gang tai" has the feeling like he just left a few moments ago. "Ta gang zou le liang tian." Okay, if he's going to be away for,、um, you know, he went to California for a week or two. Right, he just left a couple days ago. "Ta gang zou le liang tian." Right. Unlike "gang tai,"、uh, "gang" cannot be followed by the negation words、uh, "bu" or "me." Okay. So let's look at this example. 你刚才为什么没说 Why didn't you say something a moment ago? 你刚才为什么没说 Okay. Now you can't say 你刚为什么没说 Okay. 你刚为什么没说 ？That doesn't make any sense. You have this. Ah,、uh, 没 So 你刚才为什么没有说？我刚才不想说。I didn't want to say anything a moment ago. 我刚不想说。You can't say that. Okay. So when you have this negation, it has to be 刚才。我刚才不想说。Here, a sentence that includes "gang tai" often ends with "le," but a sentence including "gang" cannot have "le" at the end. So here's a conversation. 你刚才去哪儿了？老师要你去办公室找他。你刚才去哪儿了？老师要你去办公室。找他。Okay, where were you a moment ago? 你刚才在哪儿了 ？The teacher wanted you to go to his office. 老师要你去办公室找他。And then 
Here, 我刚才去图书馆了. Here's a le. 我刚才去图书馆了. Okay, so we can put the le and the le after the gang cai. You can't after gang. Now, colloquially, you might hear some Chinese putting the le at the end of a sentence with gang, but technically, it's not correct. Just like in English, we speak in ways that are incorrect as well. Okay, if you start preparing for tomorrow's test. Okay. I just got started. Okay, you couldn't say that would not be correct. Okay, here we have uh, what's called a resultative, uh, resultative complements. Okay, following a verb, an adjective or another verb can be used to denote the result of the action, hence the term resultative complement. Okay, so uh, if you look here, we have xiao bai cai mai wan le. Okay, so you put this one at the end, and it's the result of the action. They sold out. They sold finished. Xiao bai cai mai wan le. Okay, this one here, ni zhao cuo qian le. Ni zhao cuo. Okay, you gave me the incorrect change. Ni zhao cuo qian le. Okay, zhao is the act of giving change, and cuo is the result of that act. It was a mistaken, it was done mistakenly. A mistake resulted from it. You gave me the incorrect change. Here's another one. Na ge ren shi shei. Ni kan qing chu le ma. Na ge ren shi shei. Okay, so did you see clearly who that person was? Okay, who is that person? Uh, you see clearly, ma, right? Ni kan qing chu. So qing chu means clear here. Qing chu means clear. Kan qing chu, see clearly. Some more examples here. Tai hao la. Jigge zi ni xie dui la. Tai hao la. Jigge zi ni ni xie dui la. Tai hao la. Jigge zi ni xie dui la. Okay. Generally, the negative form of a resultative complement uh, is formed by placing mei uh, or meio before the verb. Okay. So. Here we have Xiao Bai Cai Hai Mei Mai Wan. Okay, the the baby bok choy is not sold out yet. Xiao Bai Cai Hai Mei Mai Wan. Okay, you can't say Xiao Bai Cai Bu Mai Wan or Hai Bu Mai Wan. Okay, it's Xiao Bai Cai Hai Mei Mai Wan. Okay, 那个人我没看清楚. Okay, I didn't see that person clearly. 那个人我没看清楚. Uh, here we have Zhao Gao Jigga Zi Ni Meio Xie Dui Zhao Gao Jigga Zi Ni Meio Xie Dui Shu You didn't write this character correctly Zhao Gao Jigga Zi Ni Meio Xie Dui okay. Following certain verbs, the use of an adjective as a resultative complement is not random. In those cases, it is advisable to take the combination of the verb and the complement as a whole unit. Let's take a look at some examples of that. How is a result of the complement. Okay. So how can serve as a complement following a verb, indicating the completion of an action. It often indicates readiness to start the next action or event. So here, look at this example. Fan zuo hao le, kuai lai chi ba. Okay. Fan zuo hao le, kuai lai chi ba. So the food is ready. The food has been finished. We finished cooking the food. Quickly come and eat. 
饭做好了，快来吃吧。Okay, here we have 功课做好了，我要睡觉了。Okay, I my homework is done. 功课做 ，I did the homework. 做 ，and it's done. 做好了，做好了，我要睡觉了。I I want to go to bed. And finally, 衣服我已经帮你买好了。明天晚会你就可以穿了。哎，衣服我已经帮你买好了。明天晚会你就可以穿了。Okay, I've already bought the dress for you. Ah,、uh, you can wear it for the party tomorrow night. 衣服我已经帮你买好了，明天晚会你就可以穿了。Okay, and that concludes this grammar lesson.